In this video, we're going to talk about quantum physics. And very specifically, we'll be talking about a beautiful thing called a photon. So what exactly is a photon? So consider a source of electromagnetic radiation over here, like this light. And so what we are used to uh, believing is that something like, an, uh, like EM radiation can be represented as a wave. And so you would then do something like that. But now in quantum physics, we're going to challenge this. We should now view EM radiation not as a wave, but as a series of tiny little electromagnetic particles like these, and we're going to call these photons. And so we say that the energy from EM radiation is transferred discreetly. And this is a big word that we're going to use time and time again in this chapter. And so the very first concept is to now look at one single photon, so one of these little guys over here, and the energy of a photon E equals to H times F, where F is the frequency of the radiation and H is the Planck's constant, 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule second. Now, we can, of course, express this in terms of the wavelength of the radiation as well, right? simply by replacing F with the speed of EM radiation divided by the wavelength. And so this becomes HC over lambda. And that's your first key equation for quantum physics. So one interesting thing that we should sometimes uh, consider is that in quantum physics, we express the intensity of the source in a slightly interesting way. And so as we all know, intensity I is power over area, okay? And the power of the source, remember, is the total energy per unit time released by the source. And so since now we express the energy in terms of a certain number of these discrete photons, we can express energy as the number of photons multiplied by the energy of each photon HF per unit time. And so here we go. This can be written as the rate at which photons are emitted, NP over T, multiplied by HF. And so what we should take away from this is that if I increase the power or, for that matter, increase the intensity of a source, you do not change HF. What you're actually doing is you're increasing the rate at which you emit photons. 